of notoriety that the person who destroyed a bank known as Society General Bank destroyed yeah, destroyed Kwara State Trade Bank. He did he did so well in Kwara State that his children did not go to school there. You understand? So that is Saraki's story. But one thing I will tell you is that since we came on board, we are here to retire a lot of them and eventually they will be put where they belong in a matter of time. So the same way I feel about Buhari, you understand? All of them are the same. But it's the same way I feel about Bola Tinumbu as well, who has cornered half of Lagos to himself. We have to break their stranglehold on these places so that this country can experience li liberation. I don't want any of you to be under the illusion that the Saraki yeah, is still always better than Saraki. Every thief is a thief. Yes. So, uh, on the Olukoya, it's very important because this is the latest that happened. I have done reporting on a lot of places, all the cabals in this country. And you know, in this country, there are religious cabals, there are political cabals, traditional cabals, economic cabals. So I've touched all of them. It's not only Olukoya. You remember the one that was sleeping with the prostitute in uh, yeah. Canada, yeah, Otobo? Uh, yeah, the pastor in uh, Suleiman. That one sued me too. In case of Olukoya, Olukoya had churches all over the world. And after a while, they set up all these pastors to be sending money to them. The pastors also become greedy. They stop sending money to the, the home office. So he sued his pastor in the U.S., in Maryland, asking him to relinquish the, the property. One second, let me finish. Asking him to relinquish the property that they both own together. That pastor challenged him in court. In the process of challenging Olukoya, the pastor now spilled on Olukoya that Olukoya has been importing books into the U.S. as no profit, but when they sell them, he collects them back as profits. So that was my job was to report on all of these shenanigans going on. So he sent a message here to me in this office. He sent one guy to come and meet me that he wants to meet. And I said I don't do meetings with people that I report upon. Because it will be regarded as blackmail after I report on you. And now come and have one meeting, secret meeting with you. I said I'm not doing any meeting. They said, the guy even came back to me and said, ah, since you are running for president, the man can backroll you. I said, I don't need his money. I don't need, I don't need his money. I need the support of Nigerians. And the moment Nigerians support us, we'll win the election, of course, hands down. Of course. So it was then that he then went and looked for a judge in uh, New York. We imagine a man of God that is on Lagos Expressway now going to look for a judge in a case that doesn't even involve anybody in New York. My suspicion is that they found a judge who is probably a member of their church of who said that they will teach Shore a lesson. It's not going to happen. We are creating a country where there will be equality and equity. And I've asked him to take me to court, like Fela used to say, make it carry me go court, I go put book for her. <laughs> but I don't want anybody who is a member of their church to feel that a man of God is God. Yeah, yeah, the man of God is not God. They are businessmen like every other person you see out there. And when we challenge them, they go to court because they realize that God does not fight, you know, the cause of injustice. So they have to go to the human court. Otherwise, God can fight for all his servants, right? But the moment you see a man of God who says he's powerful, who can cure diseases, who like, now run to court. A, a to court, you know that God has told him that he cannot support what he's doing. That's, all. That's what I can tell you. Yes, God yes. probably sent him a memo that this particular case, you have to handle it by yourself. Otherwise, God can handle any case. Thank you, sir. That's, 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 so we'll go to outside. 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 Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Take it back! 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 Take it back!
Take it back. Take it back. Action. Action. <laughs> Wow. It's turning out that uh, more people had arrived here after we arrived at the airport. Yes. I'm very, very happy to be with you. I'm glad that finally we have taken a decision that we are doing away with our oppressors. Yes. Mm -hmm. The team of people who have been oppressing Nigeria for 58 years now. So much so that so many of them are even older than Nigeria. Mm. If they are older than Nigeria, it is time to leave Nigeria alone so that Nigeria can grow. Oh, yes! But in growing Nigeria, we must not mistake our growing Nigeria for the slogan of Saraki who said he wants to grow Nigeria. But I, when I saw the slogan, I changed it to Loot Nigeria. They can never grow Nigeria because they themselves have decided that they will stunt the development of this country. But from next year, we are going to take this country in another direction. Yes, sir. We will take it back from them, put it to you, and make this country work for us again. Yes. In fact, I cannot say again because for a lot of you, this country has never worked for you before. Yes, sir. Yes. This country has yes, sir. never been about you. It has always been against you. Exactly. But it is time for all of us to unite and make our country work for all of us so that we can become a pride of the world as opposed to being a disgrace to the world. Don't let anybody deceive you. Nigeria is not the giant of Africa because Nigeria has not been able to grow. They have arrested the development of Nigeria and detained it for so long. But we are here together to liberate our country. And each time I see you, young people, who are determined to do this, who are asking questions as to how we can do this, who are worried as to whether this is possible, I feel compelled to keep Sarah, please open the. Day back 
That's the country we are bringing about, but we need all of you. You know, they were telling us when we started that it's impossible. That how can a young person like you become president? Now, they are accepting the fact that it is possible. But they are saying, where would you get the money? This is about will. And will is greater currency than paper money. The will of Nigerians to break free is bigger than Naira or dollars. It is about the integrity and the dignity of the Nigerian person to have a country that they can call their own so that you don't have to travel through Kano and Agadez to Libya to die in the Mediterranean Sea. We want to create a country where if you ever cross the Mediterranean Sea, you will be on a cruise ship on vacation. Not on a rickety boat that is going nowhere or that will likely kill you. I'm not making all these promises because I'm a politician. Of course, I'm not a politician. If anybody have any grudge against me, it's the fact that I'm very blunt. I'm not a politician. I'm saying it because I know it is possible. I know it is possible for people to go to bed every night with their belly filled up with food and not prayers. I know it's possible for you to go to hospital in this country when you are sick because we have the resources. But a few people, a few people, and you know them, you see them in your neighborhood, they have stolen your future. You see them with their mansions, with their big cars, and their private jets. Few people. Not up to 1% of our populace are in control of our entire resource. They have cornered it for themselves, cornered it to themselves, and every election cycle, they will take maybe a small proportion of it, divide it up and give it to us, and make us vote for them, so that we are perpetually enslaved to them. This is the reason why our movement and our political party, the African Action Congress, AAC, take it back. AAC, take it back. Take it back. Action was established to liberate this country permanently. And we know that you are capable of rescuing this country. That is the why, that's the reason why you have been standing with us since we started six months ago. Look at where we are. Forget about when you see them with crowd. They bought the crowd. They are buying crowd every day. This crowd. Or the number of people here are organic. This is a revolutionary crowd. 
Nobody forced you to come here. You came here because you want to fight to get your country back and make it work for you and not make it work for other people that all of us are working for. That's why you are here. And I promise you, for those of you who are asking questions about whether we back down or not, there's no going back and there's no backing down or backing out until we win the election next year. When you go back, please sensitize everybody in your neighborhood. Tell them, share with them the good news that you have found alliance and a coalition that will make this country work and that you make all of us in Nigeria to become happy in our lifetime. This is possible and we promise you that by the time we see again this time next year, you all will be grateful that you did something when you ought to do it. That is taking the right step in supporting a candidate that suits your conscience, that is capable, that has character, and has ability, including agility, to run Nigeria. You know the old man, after he returns from China now, they have to pump steroids for weeks before he can do another trip. Yes, it's the truth. They are just too old to run. But they don't want to leave Nigeria without being disgraced, and we will disgrace them next year. So that is why I'm here. It's been a long trip, but I said I must speak with all of you. And wherever you may be, in Lagos, outside of Lagos, we will come and join you as well. We are back in town, and we are ready and willing to meet you anywhere you are to discuss how we'll take this country back. But before then, when you go back, organize and stop agonizing. Organize your neighborhoods, organize your streets, organize your house, your church, your mosque. Organize your traditional worship places. Organize your village, your town, your city. Organize across Nigeria. Let all of us join hands together and make sure that we do something that has never been done in the history of Nigeria. Create a revolutionary political movement that we kick out all the old, well, I'm sorry to call them bastards, who have made it impossible for this country to experience growth, development, and progress, and by extension, peace and justice. We will bring that social justice to you, regardless of your ethnicity, regardless of your religion, regardless of your social class and orientation, regardless of your age, regardless of your sex uh, or gender, regardless of everything, you deserve the best in this country. And I'm pledging that I will give you the best in Nigeria, starting from next year. It will happen, and you will look back and say, wow, was it even possible for Nigeria to be like this? How I wish we started earlier than this. Sometimes I blame myself, too that maybe we should have been doing this long time ago. Not the last election cycle. Because we have been capable for a long time. But for some reason, we felt comfortable just fighting, fighting, small, small fights here. We're going to fight for election, go and fight police, go and fight INEC. And after we finish fighting, we go back and rest. And then these people take over power, and they start using it to whip us again. We go and fight again. They share. So... We want to end that circle of, you know, sad stories by going for the biggest prize in town. And this is the biggest fight of our lifetime. The fight to recoup our country, to recoup our dignity, to recoup our space, to recoup our country, our education system, our healthcare system, our security architecture, you know, to fight corruption to a standstill in this country to build real infrastructure, to give education to our kids. This is a fight of a lifetime, and this is a fight we fight, and we will not stop until we win. That is why you must not relax. Do not stop fighting until we win. And I can already smell victory.
I can smell victory. I can smell victory. I can see victory. I can see it. I can touch it and I can feel it. And I can hear the sound. And I can see it. And it's close. Uh, so, thank you so much, everyone, for yes, uh, for coming. I've been told to address you in Yoruba. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Boy, the guest is Kupo. I do not know if you drew to our shishin. You have to go to Hawaii. At the Shetan. That is she. I got a phone. Really, the Nigeria. Then, <laughs> 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 I want to put a lot. I want Baba Ole. Don't come, 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 I want to only walk. Okay, the last time I only walk, the last song. Life should be. Don't come, I don't let. I put you. Orani. I mean, eh, you are the female. You are the one. I, 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 so far, our brewer, our brewer, we are are I want family, Buhari, Barayi, Bada Lowa, I want a canoe, not to Muileru, I want Pakwanso, Barayi, Bada Lowa, I want a Yitawani offer. Now I'm Robert, don't be late, don't be any busy year, but don't be Baparo, Barayi, Bada Lowa, and Yitawani, River State. I want to get out weekly. I tell you, I won't be in the Ayan Baparo, and Barayan Badalo. And you tell a loan those states, yeah, credit to Lu, Tun Shenyi, Mono Mono, and Barayan Badalo. And you tell a lot your states, constituted authority. But if you call Mabo, and Barayan Badalo. And you tell a new good state about if you like Pentagon, or if you like Guru, or on Jaini Jacuja, and that I got a long wall. And you tell a knee, you let the Intervani Najas the town of Bangida. So you are going to want to parallel your politics, don't you finish Jacuja, and that I got a long wall. I want to see our knee, Satis, that we carry my do. Our Prosha, Tom Purin Baparo, my people, 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 on the sign one here. AAC. That's a That's Thank you so much for coming. We will be having rallies across Nigeria. And uh, we will come to every neighborhood.
house to house, the message must spread that we are taking our country back not later than February 16, 2019. February 16, 2019. Yes. It will be, it's, no, no. It will be Valentine on the 14. Until my bed, my bed is actually February 16. I was yes, February 16. My bed. AAC. Take it back. Action. AAC. Take it back. Take it back. Action. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh!